Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Hot I am playing uh, Terraria Mod Adventure. <laughs> uh, last episode we decided to get some more weapons, of course. One of the weapons that was foiling me a little bit, or just being an absolute douchebag, was this guy over here, the Frigid Blaster. Now, this thing drops from permafrost. The unfortunate part is I formed permafrost quite a lot. I did not get a single one of those. So... I decided to today, like before I start recording, I was gonna just fight two more and see if I could get it. And then I was like, you know what, why don't I test this out to see if I could actually get that thing. I opened up a million, like I cheated in and opened up like almost a hundred treasure bags or something. And I did not get that item. According to the wiki, it's supposed to have a 20% chance, but I have a tiny feeling that this thing is impossible to get. From treasure packs, maybe. So, fuck and shit. Because I don't really know how else I'm gonna... Well, I could turn off boss expertise. Hmm. Sure, I'm gonna go and turn off uh, boss expertise. For a moment. Uh, beep, 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 beep. What? Where are you, boss expertise? There you are. I could also just go and open the config file and change it to... Eh. Hmm, sure. Let's see. Uh, oh my god, this is amazing. Wow, I had no idea that this worked. Won't be affected by the boss whitelist. Um, add expert command. Yep. Team hard, by the way. Change boss AI, yes. Uh, Treasure back's in normal mode. I'm gonna turn this off. Save config. Go back. Okay, this takes a lot less time. All right, let's go and go back into Ronan. Back into Ranger Medium. Let's just go and see if we can beat what's his face. Uh, without using, or like, you know what I mean. <laughs> let's just hope we get if we can get the item this way. There we go. So now I still have like basically all of the like I have the expert mode AI and all that jazz. But I don't just don't get the uh, the treasure bags right now. Alright, let's see what you can do, buddy. Oh, fuck. Already got hit. Oh, I got Angus. Okay, I got the Snowdrift. Which is a weapon that I've got millions of already. I just think I'm gonna continue doing this until I get either get the weapon or until I'm like okay this this weapon is not dropping. In which case I will cheat it in. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Or maybe I should wait a little bit with that. Sure, I'll just go and leave that weapon alone then. If I cannot get it after these three attempts, then I'm gonna wait until later on in the game and then make my decision there. Okay, yes, yeah. it's done. It is done, I'm gonna change the config file, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna go and continue going, and acting as if that entire thing has never happened. Alright, save config, go back. That's amazing. I didn't even notice this until now, because I haven't had to change the config files in quite a long time. That's really cool though, the fact that the mod browser does that. Alright. Hey you, you can have a lot of this stuff, not everything, but... Oh, no, 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 that was, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a force of habit, really, So all the farming that I've been doing. Alright, that's it, I don't care anymore, <laughs> I'm just gonna go and leave that item in the dust for the moment. Uh, nope, we don't have the pulse bow, which is still something that I'm gonna need, of which I also still don't know how in the living crap I'm gonna get it. Uh, the scrap salvo. Whoopsie. You are one of the things that I can buy over here. I'm going to get my discount card again. And here's a scrap salvo. 
Wow. Wow. She's a snail speed though. 40 range damage, wow. <laughs> for that amount of bullets. That's pretty dang cool, but not that useful for me. Right, now we can make some uh, some of these weapons. What's it called? The Frost Pulse Rifle. There you are. Let's see, fires icy bullets. Or an icy pulse, sorry. Interesting. It's not too bad. It also isn't that great, so... Get benched. <laughs> okay, uh, the hail gun. Now, I should have a snowball cannon now I'm thinking about it. Or you should have one of those. Um, there you are. Let's go make the hailstorm. Or the hailgun, sorry. The hailstorm. Uh, hmm, it's raining snowballs out of the sky. Snow. Do you use snow blocks or does you use snowballs? I think it uses snow. Wait, don't I have like unlimited snowballs somewhere? Oh no, I think that's that was in the healer playthrough with Cube. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me go and rewatch this thing for a moment. Nimble, sure I can deal with that. Gonna make a couple more snowballs and I wanna see how much DPS this thing can do. No, the DPS is not that much because of the fact that it's using snowballs, but this is pretty amazing though. <laughs> this thing's pretty cool. Wow. But it's not it's not good enough on damage on the damage department, so. It'll be benching it in. Okay. Next up. Uh, the Thaw. Thaw. There we go. A golly one. Occasionally shoots an explosive... An explo what? An exploding ice blade. Interesting. It's pretty decent, but it's nothing compared to this. <laughs> That's on a whole different level, that one. Okay. Uh, we also have the snowstorm. Snowstorm. There we go. There's normal arrows into frostbite arrows. Or frost burn arrows, sorry. It's just. Yeah, it's not that amazing. It's just some uh, crossbow. <laughs> some random crossbow. Right, so now we have the snower. Snower. Whoa. This thing does pierce enemies. It doesn't do as much damage though. But it does pierce like infinite enemies. Let me see. I think I'm gonna reforge this and replace uh, Windfall with it. Just because of its uh, piercing capabilities. Seems pretty dang good. Hurtful, yeah. Deadly. Yeah, sure. More damage, more speed. I can deal. Even though speed doesn't really matter too much with this weapon, but yeah. I'm gonna be using this weapon mainly just to like try to damage as many weak enemies as or just I don't know man. We'll see. We'll see if I'm gonna properly use this or not. Uh the kamikaze. Glorified shot bow and a rocket launcher. Now I think I already used one of my rocket launchers. I do have the glorified shot boo. Now I just need a rocket launcher. Rocket power! Scooby scooby scooby. Is that how it goes? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Kamikaze. Just uh, shoots three rockets. It's literally a rocket launcher times three. There's a pretty decent amount of damage, but this is. Better because of its like the little things and also cursed flames. Debuff. Yep. Yeah, the ice rock. What does it do again? Yeah, right, this explodes. This seems like a pretty good thing also. Ooh. And this blaster is just fun. 
It's just one hell of a fun weapon to use. Alright, cool. Wait, how many? Like, I'm using Elements of Oaken, Elements of Oaken, Thorium, Elements of Oaken, Thorium, and Thorium. And Elements of Oaken again. <laughs> uh, all the other mods don't matter. Well, those, those are, of course, like some of the bigger mods that I have. Right, next, you need these things, which is like post or shit. I'm really thinking about maybe getting rid of this. Like... Right, I'm gonna test this out right now. Right here, right now. Let's go into the mods. Let me go and disable uh, Alchemist NPC. Where are you, buddy? Uh, do you have a thing for you? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna disable this one for a moment. Reload my mods. And then I'm gonna go and download the uh, the light version of Alchemist NPC. And I'm gonna see if I still have uh, things like the Pit Boy and all that jazz. I don't think so, though. It's just because all those weapons and all that post Moonlord stuff is not... Like, it's not that good and it's also not that fun, so... That's the reason why I'm trying to change it. I like Mr. PC light. Let's see. There was a problem. Try again. I'll just go and download it then. <laughs> if there was... <laughs> Alright. That's actually quite funny. <laughs> just being like, let me go read up on this mod. And it's like, there was a problem. Oh yeah. <laughs> I see the problem now. The thing is, I'm trying to improve my general experience with these uh, mods. All right, let me go and grab the world builder for a moment and go over to um, uh, Thorium Summoner, I think. Okay. Now, uh, huh. <laughs> all these freaking things. Um. Hmm. Let's go and take a look if I can get a pit boy. Right, let me just go and grab, or like, take a look at the cell phone. Like, what is the cell phone used for? Yeah, it's used for making a world shipper, so yep. Now we get rid of the pit boy. Shit. Yeah. This is the reason why I'm. This is like. This is literally the reason why I'm holding on to this mod. Uh. Damn. I'm really thinking about just leaving it. But wait, don't I like lose. I lose a lot of stuff if I get rid of this. A lot of stuff that will give me a lot of money. Damn. Uh, I learned some quality of life stuff from this. Hmm. Difficult choices, 14 minutes into the video. <laughs> I don't feel like I've done... Well, I've, I've made a couple of weapons and all that jazz. God damn, what am I gonna do, man? I was sitting here with, with freaking G-Realm before also. So I won't have my Pip-Boy anymore. And I gotta say, the Pip-Boy is... Probably one of the best items. Especially for me to just like, get around the world easier. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go and run with the normal Alchemist NPC. Where's lights? Uh... Right, I'm just gonna go and uh, do it like this. I'm just gonna keep uh, Alchemist NPC. I just wanted to take a look at what the light version would like. If I still have my Fib Boy, then everything would be fine. Yes, people, the only reason, or one of the only reasons why I'm still holding on to the, <laughs> holding on to the original Alchemist NPC is because of the Pip Boy. It is that good. It really is that good, though. Pip Boy is ridiculously handy. And also, all the freaking documents that I get give me like 10 gold. 
per time I kill a boss, so... Or like, one of the main Terraria bosses. Which is also quite handy. Let's see, nothing has been corrupt? Nope, okay, good. Let's just go and continue. Forget forget that ever happened. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, Nyx is... Post-game magic bullet. That is not post-game. Uh, oh wait, <laughs> that is not post-game, looks at Luminite bars. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, uh... Okay, uh, the Ballistic Nebula Destroyer. <laughs> That's Nebula. <laughs> it's also post alert, of course. As expected, Sniper Rifle is used in the Magic Bullet, the Nyx, the Nova Rifle. Oh my god, this looks amazing. This thing. This thing. Oh my god. I'm gonna need a lot of snipers. How fortunate it was for me to never find the freaking sniper. In the entirety of the dungeon formage. Bam. Sniper rifle. Hmm, I can shoot two bullets at this now. Interesting. Uh, so. I now have a sniper rifle. Which I will just hold on to, I think. For the moment. I'll take a look at what, which one they want me to create next. I'm gonna just follow the order of the... The order of the items over here. Let's see, uh, the dubstep gun. I remember seeing this thing before. Does it use energy? Of course it does. Uh, the base booster, you are in here. Uh, let me go and dump you in here. Controller, can I make controllers quite yet? No, royal scales, yep. I knew it. Uh, let me see if I can make more storage. These things. It's the hallowed ones that I need right now. Sure, this is good for me. Uh, whoopsie. Wait, do I already have... I think I already have the hallowed ones. <laughs> Whoops. Let's take a look, what the hell is after the hallowed one? Yeah, blue chlorophyte. Okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna go and make myself another storage unit. Or like two of more storage units. One, two, one, two. Cut. <laughs> of course. There you go. Nicely done. Ten out of ten. Definitely misplaced again. Cut. Are you kidding me, dude? Get over here. There. Uh, wait, what? How do I insert these things? Right click on a Hellstone unit to... What the? Really, game. Really. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, storage, please. Gonna make crimson things. Um, now the hellstone ones. What am I missing? Hellstone. One and two. This is so ridiculously stupid. <laughs> oh well. At least I know now. What the hell are these things? Even eighty, one hundred and sixty. These are not... Wait. Wait a second there. Uh, what level are those things at? 120. They were still at... Wow, jeez. They were still at uh, Kunte. They were still at Kunte level. That's pretty glorious. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Alright, let's go and... Hmm, I'm gonna need more obsidian. I can buy that stuff. I have my discount card equipped, yep. Where are you, you builder? Builder boy. It's 25 silver pop, but eh. better than having to farm for it. Or better than having to grind for it. Okay, uh, more hellstone. How many more do I need? Like, uh, four more. That's gonna be 40 bars. 
There we go. Alright, let me go into this. And then there's also the hallowed, uh, the hallowed one, but, hmm. Let me go make like three of them, because I don't have enough souls after that, so. Wait, what? I dropped, oh, I dropped one of them. <laughs> oh wait, over here. Okay, there we go. Right, so now I should have a much, yeah, now I've like <laughs> over double the freaking storage that I had before. That's pretty good. Let's go and take a look at the traveling merchant though. Now that I have, uh, nope, okay. Let's go and continue making weapons. Let's see. Uh, I still need a dubstep gun, which I cannot make. Uh, well, I'll just leave that weapon in there, I don't care. The particle accelerator also requires a controller. The rail gun also requires a controller. Why does everything require a controller? I need more shroom mites. Oh no. The reason why I'm saying oh no is because of that amount of chlorophyte that I have left. Yep. I don't have enough chlorophyte anymore. Shroom my bullets leaves a trail of damaging mushrooms. Hm. Interesting. Okay, now what was this gun called? Oh, it needs 18 bars. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go back into the jungle. And I'll meet you guys when I'm done. With farming more chlorophyte, because I need millions of chlorophyte that I cannot buy because I disabled a certain mod. I still have not too many regrets about disabling... Uh, disabling Julian though. If only those mods would get updated, that'd be nice. My god, it's really quiet when you turn the music off. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah. Just go and open you up. Get whatever crap you have, and then sell all the rest. Right, cool. Um, I got myself a decent amount of chlorophyte again. So yeah, let's hope that I'm gonna be fine for... One episode, maybe? I almost have 100. That's pretty insane, though, that I don't have 100. <laughs> Even after all that stuff. Oh uh, boy. 18. Okay. Now I'm gonna need to make the double loader. Double loader. There we go. I'm also gonna turn you off because I'm gonna to go insane. Hmm. Right click to fire darts. So you have your left shot, which will just fire normal bullets, and your right shot, which will fire darts. Intriguing, but not that amazing compared to the rest, so. It's pretty dang cool that they, like, try to, uh, put, like, try, try to make a gun that uses, that uses darts and bullets, that's pretty cool. Calling Merchant of this has the part. Uh, the Tsunami. Tsunami! Zombie Tsunami. <laughs> uh, that's an old one. Ariel Bane, that is from Betsy. <laughs> Betsy! Uh, particle accelerator, the dubstep gun, the chain gun, that's from what's his face, railgun. The rejects blowpipe. That's dropped from a lizard mimic. Really? Really? Can I make. Like, is there a key to get a lizard mimic? Key of tides? No. Well, let's go into uh, let's go into the place and let's go into the place and do the thing. I'm gonna fly up here. I'm going to turn this off. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing this now. Got him. I got the thing that I needed. Right, uh, let me go and quick stack some money in there. In the air. <laughs> in there. Uh, sort of pebbles, underground something and others. Refined draconite, okay. 
This is power cells, and we also have cells the rejects blowpipe. Those four darts in quick succession. Intriguing. <laughs> Very interesting. Alright, more flying snakes and more lizards. That's all you need in your house. <laughs> right, let me go and uh, throw you in here. And there's also, of course, still a lot of stuff from my safe. Oh, Rami, you're in my way. Back in here. Right, go and loot all. And see about emptying some stuff. This, uh, whoopsie. This also wasn't emptied out last time, so. I once again forgot to empty out my safe. There we go. I can go over here. Hello, can go in there. More random accessories. There we go. I'm getting a lot of lizard power cells though. Well, that's pretty good. I also, somehow managed to get a uh, freaking uh, one of these guys. For some kind of reason. I still have no idea why. But I got one of these guys to spawn. So now I have myself a spectra staff with, uh, with which I can do nothing, so. Get sold! I think they're called ragged casters, those ones. The ones that drop out uh, the spectra staff. Alright, cool, you're empty. A uh, hundred damage though, holy crap. Do I have any darts left? Not sure if I do. I do actually. Because if I take a look, like darts. What? Uh, what? Uh, okay, <laughs> Sorry, I was very confused for a moment. Let's see, because there's ocean darts, drill darts, potion darts. Or poison darts, sorry. Potion darts. <laughs> yeah. Icor and then crystal ones. Phase darts, whatever the hell they may be. Tether darts, flare darts, suit solar pebbles, huh? And then there's like unlimited versions of all these darts. Now the crystal darts seem like the best thing. If I want to use darts, the tether darts, like the tether darts, do the most amount of damage, but yeah, I cannot make infinite of those. So fuck it, I'm gonna make infinite crystal darts. Wow, I cannot, I cannot type for the life of me. Right, crystal darts, let's go make enough for an unlimited version. There we go. Bam. Unlimited crystal darts. There's also the endless ones from Fargo's, but hey. Yeah. Right, cool. Uh, I'm going to throw the poison darts in here. Let's go and take a look, shall we? Whoa! These things bounce around like crazy. And they also pierce quite a lot of enemies. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think this thing would actually be better than the other thing. Because how much do the darts do? They do 23. While these just do 24. Okay. So I think overall the damage would be more. These things, man, look at this. This looks pretty dang good for me. Fuck it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bench this, uh... This crossbow over here. Wow. <laughs> that was... <laughs> there you go, people. Once again, figured out that darts are freaking good. Probably should've used them, like, years ago. Uh... The depths of gun, which I cannot make quite yet. Shadow Flare. Ah, yes. The pulse bow. It is time, people. It is time to go and see about... Somehow obtaining the, uh, go take a look. Uh, somehow obtaining the, the pulse bow. Yep, I'm, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Divine Lotus, I was just about to go. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and grab out my time changing thing. Throw a battle coin there. Uh, here we are. So it's right click to activate the sundial effect. Okay. And I'll meet you guys when I am done <laughs> with getting this thing. Which is probably going to take a little bit. So yeah, I'll meet you guys when I'm done, because, oh my god. <sighs> really? Really? 
Really? <laughs> wow. Uh, well, I'm not gonna complain, but still, wow. I also need for this, so I'm gonna need three of these. Okay. Wow. <laughs> There's nothing else that I can say other than just... Wow. That's amazing. Cool, this is the first time in my life that I've managed to get the pulse bow. Fierce enemies, bounces around, does a decent amount of damage. It's pretty good. It's actually a really good weapon. Unfortunately enough, it's very difficult to get. Okay. Um, or well, it's just block based, then yeah. Block based can go a lot of different ways. Let's go and make myself a Shadow Beam Staff. And then I can make the Shadow Flare Bow. Turns arrows into ricocheting shadow beams. Wow. <laughs> Let's take a look at this thing's damage. The damage is not that amazing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like 2000 or something. Well, this one is actually just about the same. The only thing is this bouncers aren't a little bit more, I think. Actually, hmm. this, is, this seems pretty much the same, really. <laughs> this thing does... Mm. I think I'm gonna get rid of this Fragment Blaster. It's cool, but... It's not that good anymore, I think, compared to the rest. Right. Now we still have this thing. My god, this is... Oh, I love making weapons. <laughs> sometimes... Sometimes you find pretty glorious weapons. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, the Spirit Breaker. Uh, I need a Flamethrower. Do I have another Flamethrower left? Let's see, people. Do I have another flamethrower? I remember making one. I just don't particularly remember if I... Okay, there we go. <laughs> if I use it for something else. Or something else. Let me go and make some spectre bars. Oh, I just put some spectre bullets. Nanny. Uh, there we go. Uh, what's this thing called again? The spirit breaker. The spirit breaker. Alright, spews forth spirit flame that steals life on critical hits. Hmm. I think I'm gonna replace my snower for this. Just because of the life stealing effect, that could be really useful. <laughs> and there you go. This is the reason why I'm looking for these weapons, by the way, because otherwise you will probably only get those weapons um, like much too late in the game. Strange alien attack. Oh. Oh. Shit. Can I get that still? I think I should. Uh, let me go and. Wait. Ancient manipulator. Nope. That's not happening right now. That will have to wait. Uh, the fairy. Turns normal arrows into spilling aquatic arrows. That's probably from the aquatic boss. Um, hemorrhage. <laughs> I have the hemorrhage, but I, uh, hmm. I don't think I have any more broken hero fragments. I have one of them. Damn. Down the bottom. Because I'm pretty sure that I do have the hemorrhage. Uh, where are you, buddy? I remember making you. There he is. Okay, let's go and uh, get myself a solar tablet. And let's go and summon forth the... Uh, the Earth Hazard. <laughs> the freaking... Solar Eclipse. Now I'm going to throw you back in there. I'm going to go and put my torches back over here. Let's go over there. Right, let's go and reset the date. And let's get a solar eclipse going. Also, let's go and do this. Now the question is, am I gonna go and... I should actually, I think I should. Let me go and grab my horn of death. Why? Because I want uh, Mothron to spawn.
There he is. <laughs> die, you sons of bitches, die. Did I even get the fragments I needed? Yes. Oh boy. It is time to stop. I'm gonna use my. I'm sorry, let's go use my darts. Let me go and turn it back to open peace hole. Let's go and turn it to night. <laughs> and there we go, people. <laughs> my god, those crystal darts are still flying around. They're from normal Terraria, right? I'm pretty dang sure they are. That's pretty insane, actually. But the thing is, like, in normal Terraria, you don't, you don't really have that many... Like, the best thing is gonna be the dark gun, and that's it. When it comes to damage, so... Okay, cool. Um, let me go and dump a couple of things. Into my system. Okay. I have my, uh... Like, I have... Wait, don't I have like a moon charm also? I'm not sure if I have a moon charm. And even if I don't, I can just buy it probably. Uh, I don't see a moon charm. Well, I will see about getting that stuff later on. Uh, I have a moon stone though. But that's not a moon charm. Moon charm is the one that turns you into a werewolf. Toxic flask. Let's see if I need it for something. Nope. Sort of corrosive flask. You are a material. Used in the flesh enchantment. Uh, Sunray staff. I've already gotten these things before. Cool. Now let's go and get all the banners. On their place. I did get a freaking platinum from that. Like, to be quite honest, that tiny amount of farming. <laughs> oh yeah, right. You need to go in here. Keep on forgetting that. Right, uh, let me go and throw my hemorrhage in here. That sounds so weird. <laughs> oh well. And let's go make myself the true hemorrhage. For no reason, but just to have this thing. So yeah, there you go. It's the hemorrhage, but true. <laughs> there you go. I already made the turbo, so... It's just the, uh... That's just the crimson variant of... The other thing. Uh, Zapper's Insanity. More stack. Freaking Martians, that's gonna be hell. Uh, the Equalizer. Nope. I can't make that. The Bubble Popper, that's also something from the boss, probably. Uh, very, yep, that's still the same. I have no idea. Well, this weapon switch around every now and then. The My Mycelium Gatling Gun. I'm getting more sure, mate. Gum Gum Gatling. There we go. It just shoots really fast and does... 74 damage. My god. <laughs> this could be really good. If not, if there, like, yeah. If there wasn't a thing like this. Alright. What's up? What's up? Let's have Viridian Might. Ah. Okay. So make myself another glorified shot bow. And I'm gonna make myself a lizard furnace. Lizard. Little, little, little. Get in here. There we go. And then I'm gonna make myself some lizard bricks. Which is chlorophyte, because of course it is. And I'm gonna need 30 of these things, so goodbye. 15 of my freaking 
things. Uh, let me go and make a viridian mite. Ah, yes. Um, I am missing the vines. Uh, the vines. Hello. Do you sell uh, the vines? Oh my god. Can somebody please sell the vines? Because otherwise I'm gonna have a problem. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna need 19 days. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the swamp rot. Huh, cool. But that'll be something for later. Uh, let me go and make the radio mite now. There we go. Just a, no, it's just throwing one. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? A lazy one. <laughs> You're lazy. Fuck. Hmm. Has its own arrows that it shoots. Fire spring seed arrows. 20% chance to fire a green poison seed. Ah, it's like I see now. Okay, so this is just about the same thing as uh, what's its face? Or what's your face has? Um. God damn, I forgot. I forgot a name. Uh, Plantera has, there we go. The thing is this thing is really good. If I can if I can hit enemies with it, they're gonna die. <laughs> well this thing also does a buttload of damage though. Shit. I think wait, wait, how? Yeah, the thing is like ah oh, the problem with this bow is is its velocity, like the arrows don't have a lot of velocity. But as you can see, if I can properly hit the enemy with it, they're gonna die. Well, this only hits one enemy, but it does poison them. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it on the side for now. There's gonna be an upgrade to this bow, so we'll see how that's gonna pan out. It's like the Moon Edge. Oh no, it's used in the Moon Edge uh, Cold Front. Okay, well, yeah, we'll see how that's gonna pan out. What's next? Uh, the Elf Melter. That's from what's his face? Like your launcher is from the other guy. Um, the Trench Spitter. I'll have to take a look. A trench bitter. There's drop by Abyssium, of course. Fire benefits D, of course. Right. That's a weapon from uh, a guy, that's a weapon from the UFO. Jory. That is from Primal. Uh, yeah, the circle from one of the bosses from Sick Tools. Uh, the watch has shot and Sea Viper and this thing and Wave Breaker is all from that. Hydro Pump. Candy Corn Rifle, Stake Launcher. I feel like I've reached the point of needing to continue fighting more bosses. I think. You know what, sure. I feel like this is the moment that I can... <laughs> oh yeah, this is like the Pandora thing. Interesting. <laughs> well, let's see how that's gonna pan out. My god, so much stuff. I think that's gonna be it, people, for this episode. And next episode, we're finally gonna continue dealing with more bosses. We're gonna start off with something interesting, actually. Mm, if I can find it. This one. Because I can actually make the Viantis curse. Well, I can make it if I... Uh, wait, there's a certain thing for it, right? Let me go and take a look. I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, I'm just gonna show this off. Viante's curse. I need these things, the crack gems, and they are dropped from nymphs and like just rare, uh, rare enemies. Also, uh, Doctor Bones. I'm never gonna find Doctor Bones again. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Of this episode. I was playing uh, Terraria model to Ranger, and next episode we're gonna go and uh, continue dealing with some bosses, enemies, and all kinds of stuff. Not weapon making, maybe. I don't know. Depends. <laughs> Goodbye.